to a White Ledge campground. We got a little bit of a late start. Our ETA is 12.21. Friday, Labor Day weekend. We drove to White Ledge Campground last night and checked in really late. And we didn't realize we booked a walk to site, so we're now going to try to go down and switch sites and see if they have any other ones free. We're about to move sites, and this is a good thing about the hard shell roof tents is that I'm going to be able to move the car without putting the tent down. We just moved sites and Coco already is having tequila. We were on site seven originally and there were stairs to get up to where you were supposed to set your tent up. So we asked the campground host if we could move and there was no one at site two. So we were able to move here and it's a pretty nice drive up site with room for multiple cars and it's nice and flat. So we were happy we didn't have to stay at the other site or move closer to the road. Hey, so we're walking around North Conway right now and there's a lot of cool little shops here and we forgot to get mayonnaise or mustard for our sandwiches, so that's the first goal of the day. We're thinking that Zeb's General Store is gonna have good options for sandwich fixings. After walking around Main Street for a little bit, we moved the car to a community park next to the public restrooms and we are having lunch now. We're making sandwiches with the mustard that we bought from the general store. It looks like it'll be good. We've got the mustard, cheese, lettuce, turkey, two pieces of salami, and two pieces of ham. And um, what is this, sourdough bread? Mm -hmm. It's really good. We're on our way to a swimming hole, but right now we're stopped and we're gonna take our picture right next to a White Mountain National Forest sign. We think we're going the right way, but we really don't know. Does it look nice? Yeah, it does. How cold is it? It's pretty cold. Coco's liking it. Right, Coco? How is it? Coco's over there falling asleep in the shade. Oh, we did it. We just jumped in a few times when we're about to go. Uh, it's been a really nice spot. It's called the Sawyer Rock Swimming Hole, I believe. We had a really fun time at the swimming hole. We're headed back to the campground. We really liked it and it was hotter out than we thought and the water wasn't too bad. Tonight we're gonna be making sushi, but we forgot a big cutting board. So we're gonna stop in Dollar Tree and hopefully we'll find one. Come on, Coco. Just got back, we are feeding Coco and we're gonna set up the tent and then we're gonna start making the sushi. We're about to start the sushi process. Sushi tonight for dinner. We decided to try something a little different. We're gonna make salmon avocado cream cheese rolls and probably some avocado cucumber rolls as well. This past week, Kate ordered a new Subaru Crosstrek and afterwards we went out to All You Can Eat Sushi to celebrate and that was what gave us the idea to try this camping. So where do we start? So I cut up the avocados. We started with cutting the avocado. This is what we'll be using as the outside of the rolls. Kate is currently working on preparing things and she's doing her own little time lapse over here. While Kate is preparing the sushi, I made a little meat, cheese, and grape plate for us to have. So how's it going over here? You've got the rice and then you've got the nori. You've got the salmon, cream cheese, 
no avocado yet. We should do the avocado in strips. Now this is what it looks like right before we roll it up. I think I need to pack it harder. Yeah, I think so. I think our roll might be too, there might be too much stuff in it. Oh, I think we need a sharper knife actually. This knife didn't cut through the seaweed. So the sushi roll is done. It doesn't look very good. And our problem is that we don't have a knife sharp enough to cut it. So every time we try to cut a slice off, it uh, can't really cut through the seaweed very well, and we just get left with a little pile at the end of the roll. So now Kate is eating it like a taco, or like a burrito, I should say. Sushi burrito. How is it? It tastes pretty good. I might try to make the next one with the seaweed on the outside. They do that sometimes. So the first sushi attempt was turned into a burrito, but it was still good, and this is going to be our second attempt. These look like they're coming out really good. This is a half roll of sushi. So like these together are one roll of nori. We made two halves on the second try. We've got cream cheese, salmon, avocado, and rice on the inside this time. It's really good. I didn't even add soy sauce. We've got some leftover avocado and rice, but they came out really good for being camping. We just cleaned up from dinner and we're about to go on a walk, but first we're gonna try some chocolate that Kate bought from this little shop in Conway called the Bavarian Chocolate House. And she got in a little box and it's an assortment of things. Chocolate covered Oreos, chocolate covered pears, chocolate covered marzipan, and Maine blueberry clusters. How's it going? Pretty good, I feel energized. Really, it's probably the chocolate. Probably. Just got back from our walk and now I'm going to start the fire. Tonight's drink is sponsored by my friend Jesse and Aldi. Jesse got me this uh, white rum probably about a year ago when he borrowed my car for the week. And then this we got at Aldi the other day. It's a sparkling lemonade. Thank Coco. We love you. We've got all the windows cracked a little bit for Coco. She's staying in there tonight. I've just been sitting here enjoying the fire and doing some editing, but I think after we have breakfast, we're going to go paddleboarding somewhere and go on a little hike. Good morning. We just had our usual perfect bars for breakfast, and now I'm going to try to make Trader Joe's instant cold brew coffee. Here are the necessary ingredients, some water, I'm adding a little bit of this that we found the other day, some pumpkin spice uh, zero sugar sweetener, instant cold brew, and a cup to put it in. The coffee is really good. This is my first time trying the Trader Joe's cold brew instant stuff. And it's not sweet at all, which is good because I don't really like my coffee that sweet. We just packed up some stuff and now we're on our way to go do a little hike. You ready, Coco? Say hey. The hike we're going to be doing is to a little spot called Cathedral Ledge, and it looks like you can also rock climb here. This is called the Bryce Path, and it brings us to the Cathedral Ledge Overlook via the red trail markers. Okay. <laughs> it's a little harder than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. It's not hard, it's just steeper than I was expecting. Yeah, it's steep the whole way so far. Coco's not doing a stair. When we go on hikes, we usually just find it on the All Trails app. And then if we get lost, use the Garmin inReach that I have. Coco, you've made it to the top. That must be Echo Lake down there. We made it to the top and I don't have my watch on, but it took about... This is an even better overlook.
Coco, you made it. As you can see, we just got back to the car and the next thing we're gonna do is either paddleboard somewhere or go to another swimming hole. And we haven't decided which one. We, we ended up at the Upper Saco River. We just went down to the water and checked it out. And we're gonna take the paddleboards off the car and paddleboard here for a little bit. Coco, you ready? Go get Kate. We had to get off. It was too fast and uh, there's a tree down upstream. Coco has switched to Kate's paddleboard. Jump, jump, you did it. Good job, Coco. How's the water temperature? Feels pretty nice. I feel like I'm used to the water from swimming yesterday a little. Yeah. Um, do you think that my paddleboard's okay? Coco, so is this your first time having a stick by the river? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> How is it? Pretty good. <laughs> Is it cold? It's not too cold. <laughs> Coco didn't like the rocks and she didn't want to come in the water, so she's back just hanging out on the paddleboard. Do you like your little hangout area? Are you going to go in, Coco? Probably not. We're heading back now. We stayed down at that little wider spot for a little bit, but it's approaching 5 o'clock. And we don't want to get back to the campground too late. Hey, I don't think you can see me. That's the down tree as to why we can't proceed onward. We just walked around the down tree and I'm gonna dive in a little bit. This is the area where we launched, but it's a little shallow. We're gonna keep going a little bit and get out at a different spot so it's not as long of a walk. I'm gonna go get the car. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Before when I parked, this parking lot was packed. We just got the boats loaded up and we're either headed back to the campsite or we're headed to Walmart. We're walking into Walmart right now. I want to look for a travel pillow to fly to Utah and we're also going to check out some coolers. They didn't have any coolers the size that we were looking for, but we did get some snacks for our trip and Kate was able to find a travel pillow. How do you like the pillow? I like it. I wanted to try it out before we go. I think it's pretty supportive. We're having steak, sweet potato, fry-ish things, and Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. Dinner looks really good. Dang, I snuck a fry and it was good. <laughs> yeah. We just got back from a little walk around the campground and now we're about to start a fire. Yours looks close to being done. We've been over here having a fire for like the last hour and after this we're gonna head into the tent and that's pretty much it for today. It's Sunday morning. We just got up and put some stuff away. I just took down the string lights and Kate just took the sleeping bags out of the tent. And first before we leave we're gonna take a little Polaroid photo. <laughs> this is what it should be once it develops. We just packed up and left our campground. We're headed to Wilmington, Vermont. We found this little mountain called Pitcher Mountain Fire Tower, and I think it's only 0.6 miles long, so we decided to hike it. Yeah, this won't be long at all. It's quite the narrow trail, and all these bushes on either side of us are blueberries. We just made it through the little path and the fire tower is right over here. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't long at all. No, it was really fast. We started at 2.06 and it's 2.20 right now. Looks like the door into the fire tower cab is closed, but it's still a really good view from here, especially this way.
Hey, it's a pretty good view from up here. We're just getting back to the car now and it took us a little less than an hour and we weren't trying to go fast at all. Overall, it's, I would definitely recommend it. We found a Sierra Trading Post on our way to our campsite for tonight and Kate ended up buying a rumple blanket, a cooler and a sleeping pad to go and use on our trip to Utah this coming week. We finally reached the road we're gonna be camping on. It's the George Aiken Wilderness. If you watch our other videos, we tried to go here the first night on our previous 4th of July trip, but it was completely full. And we just drove the whole road just to see who was here. And there's three free sites. So we're gonna take the biggest, most flat one. We just opened the stove and started the rice because we're gonna be making sushi again. But Coco always eats first, so here you go, Coco. That's it. The rice just stopped boiling, so we put it on low, and now we're gonna cover it for a couple minutes. This really is quite the big campsite. You could fit multiple cars here comfortably. The last few nights, I've actually been able to set the tent up from the sides while we have the back thing out, which has been convenient and productive. Kate just put the rice away to cool down before we make the sushi rolls. We just cut up a sweet potato, and we're gonna make a little sweet potato fries. And as an appetizer, we are having some hummus, some cheese, and some chips and guacamole. The sweet potato fries are looking really good. Kate's now getting out the rice. We've been letting it cool down. Here's our salmon. Got the same ingredients as yesterday. We've got nori. This time we have fresh rice, avocado, cream cheese, and salmon, along with a little bit of cucumber. Add some soy sauce. How was it? It's really good. The soy sauce is good too. Coco, do my hands smell like salmon? <laughs> Apparently they do. Got one, two. Are you enjoying the fire? Kate's gonna be testing out her new climate sleeping pad and her rumple blanket inside the car tonight with Coco. We just rearranged things and made room. So she's going to have her sleeping pad right here. I'm still going to be up in the roof tent, but Coco is going to be in here with Kate. And usually Coco likes to sleep in a ball on the front seat. I think she thinks you set up the sleeping bag and sleeping pad for her. Good night, I love you. Good night, Coco. I just climbed into the tent. Kate's going to be sleeping in the car tonight with Coco. We enjoyed our fire for a few hours after dinner. And now we're heading to bed.